heroes, you know, Superman, the man who flies all over the world. We have uh, Spider-Man, we have Batman, you know. Now we have another superhero, man. And guess what? This superhero is from Ghana. This superhero is a woman. This superhero has a disability. She actually has cerebral palsy, but she's a his superhero. Take a look at this. The, 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 the person behind this, you all know her, she's been on this show about, about four times, Farida. But before I introduce the superwoman, I want to talk to this guy called Aram, who helped to create the superhero. Put your hands together, show some love for Aram! <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank this, you. Thank is this you. your third time? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know time. something, me? I only, <laughs> I only invite people when they are doing great things. So it means why are great things are three times? Three times. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here. this is your third time? Yep. Congratulations, time. though. Thank you. Thank I did you, the intro you. about this superhuman app that you guys have created. Yes. Before you, we, 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 we bring the super superhero. Uh -huh. uh, because she, she, okay, she's supposed to come and join you. Yes, she, okay. Yeah. But how did you get this idea? You have always been interested in using technology, apps, and things. And yep. Tell me a little bit about how you got this, yeah, so, how it came up. Yeah, so the whole idea is about what we do, right? Um, so Letty Arts, um, we've been building games for some time now. And uh, of course, I've been here. So we build superheroes based on African history and folklore authentic stories from mm, Africa mm. made into superhero form. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's, it's only in the gaming industry that you marry extreme arts and extreme science. Mm. So building a game and apps is extreme science and building, um, creating superheroes and artwork is also extreme art. So when they come together, mm. imagine what comes of mm, it and mm. the superhero Kamza is born out of such initiative okay. marrying the extreme creativity of our super heroine who will be here soon mm -hmm. and the skill set of um, Letty Arts which is a video game and video interactive game. app fantastic company. So, yeah so I, I want to get the superhero here yeah so that we can we can hear what she has to say and then yes. how you guys put this whole thing together because it's amazing yes. <laughs> it's gone it's gone well it's, it's gone international yeah, right it's gone international <laughs> and, and um, like it's been amazing we were even surprised because we were unveiling Kamza who is actually the first superhero in living with cerebral palsy. And it's been written by a superhero, a real life superhero, who also lives with that condition. Mm. So it's, the story is just amazing. And this is going to empower the whole disability mm. um, thing that we have, the stigmatization, mm -hmm. like making crutches look cool. Like mm. this is what we are really happy about. Fantastic. And Letty Art is really proud Fantastic. to be part of this initiative. So um, <laughs> how do we introduce her now? So since she's a superhero, I'm the witch doctor in the comic. So I'm going to charm her here right now with just really? the snap of my finger. Yes. So you're going to snap it? I'm just going so to do that. So can I watch you snap so she comes here? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, shh. Sh I can't say that, man. Damn! <laughs> Such a lot, man. Woo! <laughs> Frida, welcome again, man. Thank you. You, you. you know, you've been here. This was what, your fourth time here? Yeah, fourth time. Because you do, keep doing great things, man. I was telling him that uh, <laughs> the gooder you are, the more I invite you. And you, keep, you guys keep doing good things. Yeah. <laughs> but this is amazing, man. This is the first time ever in the world that we have a superhero who has a disability with cerebral palsy. Yes. Maybe my dad. Yes. Wow. Uh, and who, how, how did it come up, man? I, I, I hear you guys travel to Kigali to do a conference, and, and, and what happened? 
So we were both speakers at the MasterCard conference, and um, we, we have we have been acquaintances for a long time. I mean, we see each other, hi, hi, that's all. But we haven't had time to sit down and have a conversation before. But, but when you are over there and you finish with, with your conference, <laughs> there's a limit to what you can do. <laughs> so we found time to sit down and uh, have a conversation. I actually went to one of his workshops okay. and, I, and he was taking them through how to do a, a comic, how to do a cartoon. And I thought, ah, it, this thing looks look very easy. So well, why don't I come up with, with, with a superhero? Mm -hmm. Which who had my disability because there's none in the world. Mm -mm. And growing up, I loved, I loved watching cartoons. I loved my superheroes. I was a tomboy, so mm -hmm. I, I loved Superman, Shira, He Man, mm -hmm. and all those things. <laughs> but I never saw anybody who, who looked like me. Mm -hmm. uh, representation matters because representation make people aspire to to to, to be the heroes that that's right that they see, that's right that they see. And I reckon that maybe it is too late for, for to change the mindsets of adults, but we can change the mindsets of children. Oh, children. So if the next generation of children growing up see Kamla with, super, with, with her superpowers, using her crutches, fighting the bad guy, killing, kill, I mean, rescuing the good guys and all those things, and they see a child with a disability. Mm. They will want mm. to go near mm. the child. Mm. They, they want mm. to play with the child. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to play with mm -hmm. the child's crutches. Perceptions have changed now. Yeah, yeah. perceptions would have changed yeah. about the whole thing. Honestly, I was just doing it to change the perception in, 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 in Africa, in Ghana, in Africa. But it has gone worldwide. I mean, I've been amazed. At the, at the reaction that I've gotten. So many people from all over the world have sent me to thank me for doing, really? the, for doing this. I mean, the Cerebral Party Association in New Zealand, Australia, they are all tweeting about it because it's wow. the first time ever that there's a superhero in Cerebral Party. And Cerebral Party is the number one cause of childhood disability in the world. There are, there are over 17 million people living with this condition. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, with those numbers, why don't we have representation mm. in, 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 in the comic book mm. or the cartoon world? Mm. It doesn't make sense. Mm. And, and I thought to myself, why should we always be the ones waiting for somebody exactly. to do it? Why, why can't we, we, yeah, why can't we in, in the shit? I'm really happy that for once, we, we in Ghana have, have initiated something mm -hmm. that, that is being recognized worldwide. Put your hands together. So you just went to listen to his uh, lecture, or yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah lecture. and you were talking about um, yeah. how easy it is to develop yeah, games, characters. Yeah. What were you talking about? Yeah, so so um, it's about STEAM. Mm. You know, like mm. STEAM. You know, we know STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Okay. So everyone is like, I'm a STEM person. I'm a STEM person. But the STEM is stigmatizing the arts, which mm. is. Um, so if you are an engineering student now, they say you are STEM. So there's a lot of um, advocacy towards STEM. And the arts are being left out. Mm. So we are preaching STEAM, which mm. is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Mm. So I tell people that, and game development is a STEAM initiative, okay. right? Okay. Because you are consciously blending the arts with the science, right? So... When you bring um, STEAM is the movement to onboard people into a STEM course. So if uh, like Farida being a writer doesn't have to know how to sketch or how to make a video game to build a game, right? She can be good at her right. story, yeah. at her writing, yeah. and someone with the technical space Will. would work with her. Okay. And at the end of the product, Farida would equally have the technical um, structure or know-how mm. of how that mm. product was mm. built. Mm. I always mm. told people the artist who designed the iPhone equally knows the engineering of the iPhone. Mm. So mm. indirectly, you are encouraging the arts 
into the engineering by mm. merging them together. Mm. And that is what game development does. So mm. game development mm. works with a whole lot of skill set. Mm. Sound engineers, artists, 3D engineers, film people, editors, creative directors, mm. story mm. writers, mm. Mm. extreme programmers. That's when she gets, and she's a programmer. That's the, that's the mm -hmm. irony. She's a programmer, but the creative <laughs> side as well, right? So, so you come to the programming, then the programming brings the creativity together, yeah. and then you provide yeah. something yeah. which is a technical product. Yeah. So that was what my lecture was about. Was about and about then working together, working together to produce a technical wow. product. Wow. So was it at that point that ah, then I I I, I write <laughs> so I can write something? Yeah. Oh, so maybe it would it, it, be, be that difficult after all. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 let me just talk to him and see. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so what was the first conversation? <laughs> what, what, what? How did it go? Oh, I think... I think you hypnotized me, right? We have a phone that was you are looking at me. And I was just staring at my phone and I started laughing and doing things. <laughs> yeah, so at the end of that session, and you know, um, Steam, because I've been doing game de development for some time, I've actually encouraged a lot of people mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. do game development, right? So um, I've, I've trained over 300 interns mm. since... 2012, mm. right, through Letty. And now is a time that last year we actually started an organization called Steam Africa, mm. which is, which is, has a tagline, a writer is also an engineer, mm. right? So we are trying to say that the arts, engineering is 90% arts, 10% mm. okay. okay. technical. Because okay. it's the design which is the issue, okay. right? Okay. Not the technical. The technical okay. bit will be replaced by robots very soon. Mm. But the human side is the creativity. That's yeah. what robots cannot Can do. do. Yeah. Mm. So that was, so Steam Africa is an organization that I founded with my co-founder, um, uh, Mami, um, Yelbet Sai. Mm. Yes, um, so she, and she is a woman. She's also in your woman, woman. <laughs> um, <laughs> Woman, woman, what? Yeah, <laughs> initiatives, you know, woman 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's really passionate about um, yeah. also helping, especially girls, to, to be involved in all these mm -hmm. technical mm -hmm. things. So Steam Africa is an organization that is coming up. And mm -hmm. that is where we invited Farida and a few others to join our board of directors mm, yes mm, and mm. that's where the conversation started so for her to sit in the lecture to actually know exactly what we are doing and also be part of it in the board level mm. we had that connection mm. and that's how the conversation began mm. about Kamza and mm. honestly at that I got to know that she didn't even Kamza was created that day, when you came back, when we came so back. So, Kamza is the name of the character? Yes, yeah. Kamza is the name it's, of, of the character. It's, 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 it's the name of the character when she gets her, her powers. Her powers, oh, yes. okay. Be so, when she gets her powers, she becomes Kamza? Moroa. Moroa. Yeah, Moroa is her name. Okay. And Moroa. Then when she gets her powers, she becomes Kamza. Kamza. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and I was surprised. Like, I always encourage um, writers, like, I've, because we built this Afro Comics app, Mm. You know, Afro comics, we've been doing this for some time. KSM, you have in interviewed me for some time. And the problem here in Africa is fragmentation and distribution. You know, mm. I've done this w for some time. There are artists, creative people all over the continent, but their works are just wasting away on Instagram, on Facebook. You see an artist sketch something and mm. they're like, oh, this is beautiful, but he's not making anything out of mm. it. So Letty being a pioneer in the field, we are like, okay, why don't we build a distribution platform mm. for our characters as well? Mm. And on that platform, we are going to bring all those who are doing similar things mm. on the continent mm. Onto that app. Mm. So if you want authentic yeah. comics, authentic stories, analysis stories, or superhero content, or short animation, or wallpapers. So right? who's on the app now? So 
We have over 50 content creators on the app now, even from Zimbabwe, Nigeria. Um, we have um, Jenny Games. We have Letty Arts, of course. We have um, uh, Set of Yaj Lake of Tears, Set of Yajigbe uh, from Ghana. Uh, we are signing up a lot of Peda Comics, um, like a whole lot of stu st studios from the continent mm -hmm. and individuals as well. And we've so far we've launched for about four months now and we have about 500 authentic african content mm. both wallpapers comics and short animations mm. we have parables animation also so on so there as well. our parables is on there yeah parables okay. is on there as well okay so so who have you signed on you signed on farida or so farida she's come on no farida is also there as a content so when you go to afro comics and you see kamza it's farida okay. so farida is also a creative so the whole idea is that if you if you're a story writer or you are an artist and you have an artwork bring it on afro comics Someone might see your wallpaper and set it on the phone as a wallpaper because every phone that is shipped into Africa comes with the wallpaper from where it was created mm. from. Mm. So, so, yeah, that, so that's how okay, the okay. app works. So, the, the, the Kamza, yeah. if I want to get the app, I, and I want to give, the, give out the information yes. to people how they can get the app right now. Yes. But, um, uh, so when, when I get on the app, what am I seeing? Is it animation or is it cartoon? It's a comic. Yeah. It's a it's comic. A comic. Yeah, okay. yeah, a series, a series of, of comics. Yes. Okay. A series about, we, we currently have about 10 pages of the comic yes. available on the app. Yeah. And, and we, we are releasing it in weekly installments. So uh, every week we, we are going to publish about five pages. Five pages yes, uh, a week. Okay. Until, until the, 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 the end of the issue. Until the end of the full issue. Yeah. Okay. Then we yeah. release the end of the like the main issue in print yeah, in, print. Yes. in december mm. yeah. in december in december awesome <laughs> so how, how do we get the app right now i mean yeah so you can just go to afrocomics.lettyarts.com letty afrocomics.lettyarts.com okay. or go to your, right now you're yeah. watching or go to the play comics. store or the play store yeah play store google play store and search for afro comics comics with an x Okay. Afro comics, comics. Yeah. with an X and, and just download the phone uh, just download the app you will see a whole lot of like Kamza is one of the prime ones there and a whole lot more mm. of other um, comics that mm. you enjoy and we have graphic novels as well so we have Anansi stories and like seeking consciously seeking writers to put um, content so mm. Farida's Kamza is one of the very Top mm -hmm, content mm -hmm. that we are very proud mm -hmm. <laughs> of. How how is there any way you are monetizing this? How is it monetized? Yes. So that's the whole idea of Afro Comics to solve the monetization issue of creative content on mm -hmm. the continent. So you can buy content on Afro Comics. You okay. buy content with um, Afro points, Afro coins. Sorry. So Afro coins, the rate, the in-app currency. And because we are a game company, we always try to do things in the game way, right? Mm. So one, uh, one dollar is equal to seven coins. So if you... One dollar is equal, equal to, to seven coins. And content is as low as one coin on the app, which is like one CD or 60 pesos. So if you want to buy a wallpaper or set a wallpaper on your phone, you can pay 60 pesos, which is like one coin. Right, and if and Kamza is going for four coins, so four coins is if you convert it around two CDs or one CD mm. 80 pesos. So, mm. so mm. we want because we can't because it's digital and it's new, it's better to have your wallpaper on Afro Comics, which is going for 60 pesos, than putting that picture on Instagram and people saying, Hey, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, <laughs> without <laughs> getting anything. So, so that's the whole idea. And, f and through that, the content creator gets 70% mm -hmm. and um, us and whoever partners us for distribution, we take the 30%. Okay. Percent. Okay. So the content creator always gets 70%, 70. Yeah, percent okay. of what okay. is okay. sold on Afro Comics. And okay. that is how, and we send weekly reports or no, monthly reports Port for you to see activity yeah, activity. activities and, and all. So Farida, how... How busy is this keeping you? Because you're doing quite a few things. When, when do you set up time to write? Do you, are you working with any deadlines that day? <laughs> that, that is a good question because I've been, I mean, I have my full-time job, which, which pays me. Yeah. And 
it, it's been a challenge finding time to do some of these things. But I believe if you are passionate about something, yeah. you, you, you find a way of sacrificing yes. something to, yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is something that I'm really passionate about because I, I believe that it will help solve the problem of stigmatization for people yeah. with disabilities, yeah. Yeah. as well as, as promote inclusion for mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. for children with disabilities mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And and it's very important that we all realize that I mean disability that doesn't discriminate it can happen to mm -hmm. anybody mm -hmm. at any time. And when and and our and our the society and our environment disables us more than our actual disability mm. does. Mm. So mm. so when you see somebody who has a special need, there's no need for you to, to, to look down and the person yeah. or feel as if you are better than the person. Yeah. It can happen to you. And that is it. That's the honor to go to. It can happen to you. So and, and I hope that comes out, I mean, beyond people saying that, oh, it's a wonderful idea, mm -hmm. it's a wonderful mm -hmm. idea. It, it actually that's what it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. change the mindset mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can see, I can see, you know, I mean, kids yeah. with somebody with a disability like cerebral palsy yeah. with their clutches and yeah. I actually think it's cool, you know, because she has exactly. all these powers, you know, exactly. that's as whole perception change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it started during the launch, we were taking pictures with Sarah, uh, Farida's crutches with the, yeah. with the character and yeah. all that, right? And it, and it felt very cool, yeah, yeah very yeah. cool to hold. Imagine a shooting knives and yeah. all that. The superhero. Oh, wow. Well, what can I say, man? You guys, this is fantastic. You know, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how I missed the launch. I really, I really don't know. Because when I saw the pic, I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, that's Farida. She's a superwoman. Yeah. You know, and I really, really plan to be. I don't know what happened, man. So, um, but let's hear it. Fantastic. How happy are you? I mean, with, with this is a new level. Yes. Uh, this is a new level, and um, um, the team is so happy. Like uh, the one who is a lead illustrator, the good thing about us is we try to give everyone a chance mm. to show their creativity. Mm. And Ravi, who is the lead illustrator, being supervised by, by Kojo, who, who is our lead artist, this is actually one of his first professional comics mm. Mm. And, he and he has done such an amazing job, job. Wow. and we work through the night like yeah, like farida closes from work and we are also close around 5 30 that's when she's set off from town yeah. and she gets yeah. like seven we sit down we brainstorm and then we work Fantastic. and and this because, is because, because yeah. one, one thing that we want is, is, to, is to make it look as authentic and mm -hmm. realistic mm -hmm. as, mm -hmm. as possible so i'm very i'm very particular about the features, mm, yes. the movements, and all that. Because, because we want it to be relatable for people with mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. so, yes. so our various movements and, and the way we move our hands and all this have to be captured mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this has been a very good challenge. Though mm -hmm. we go through yeah. these things, mm -hmm. um, like mm -hmm. our so Africa's Legends Initiative, yeah. we try to research traditions mm -hmm. and represent. Mm -hmm. This is actually a condition. Yes. So, so you draw a Moroa's hand typing and, Far and Farida is like, no, do you see my hand like this? My yeah. hand is like this okay. type, you know. So, be, so let's, let's so be real with to, it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's be okay. real. So yeah. she's hugging someone and the hand is like this. Yeah. At first, it was drawn like that. Yeah. As it's it's not, uh, you know, so, so <laughs> these are. And, yeah. and it, it challenges the team yeah. to do more. Yeah. Right? And the passion at which Letty Arts, the team we are, we are putting behind um, Kamza, though we do that for every other yeah. comic, so, no, yeah. so, so, so not to um, yeah. uh, tell the other creators that we will not be passionate about their yeah. work, but Kamza is something that we are very much proud, proud of and, yeah. and, and happy for, especially with the disability movement. Mm -hmm. And Farida also, the story is also amazing. Like, mm. you have to read Kamza. Mm. It's, yeah. It's amazing. You can't stop reading. And uh, we hope we are representing it right for you, right? Yeah. I couldn't have a message. It's, 
Eight and eight and eight. Yes. Yeah. So that's the pride in there. Okay. Put your hands together. Thumbs up. Let me mean, thumbs up. And you get the app right now. The information is back on your screens. Get on the app right now and read Kamza and, and just let's be happy. This is the first, first ever superhero with a disability, cerebral palsy precisely. And it's coming from Africa to the world. And this is really, really encouraging. Show some love. Sapphire, in collaboration with Aqua Safari, present KSM Unchained. <laughs> no, 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 slow down, folks. You see, when it comes to NPP and DC politics, it's pure genetics. It is called, by their names, you shall know them. <laughs> oh, you think I'm lying? Let me mention one name and tell me if you know which party, huh? Okay, take this. Famous Akodonu. Unchained and uncensored. <laughs> Date, December 7th at the National Theatre. Time, 4 and 8 p.m. Rates, 60 Ghana cities flat for 4 p.m. show. 80 Ghana cities regular for 8 p.m. show. For limited VIP 8 p.m. tickets, call 0266-699-249. 0266-699-249.